Hello, my name is Dr. Daniel Ma, and I am a radiation oncologist at Mayo Clinic in Rochester. I am here to talk today about the growing incidence of throat cancer, the role of HPV, and some clinical trial opportunities that are available here at Mayo Clinic. For those of us who specialize in treating throat cancers, we have seen both troubling and hopeful developments within the past decade. The troubling news is that throat cancers, specifically cancers of areas such as the tonsil, tongue, and soft palate are on the rise. This is despite the fact that traditional risk factors such as smoking and drinking are falling. Much of this rise could be attributed to a virus, the human papillomavirus, or HPV. While the rise of HPV-associated throat cancers is a troubling development, the promising news is that these cancers are very responsive to treatment. Assuming that the cancer has not spread outside the throat or neck, patients with HPV-related cancers have survival rates of 75 to 80 percent. This number becomes even higher if the patient has never smoked. So the bad news is that HPV-related throat cancers are on the rise, but the good news is that these cancers are also very curable. Unfortunately, this is not the end of the story. Yes, HPV-related throat cancers have higher cure rates compared with traditional throat cancers. However, this cure comes at a, at a price, namely long-term side effects from treatment. The treatment for these cancers is usually seven weeks of daily radiation therapy delivered with simultaneous chemotherapy or surgery followed by six weeks of daily radiation treatment and or chemotherapy, depending upon some risk, found, risk factors found at surgery. With these treatments, more than one in three patients will have significant continued problems with issues such as speaking, chewing, swallowing, dry mouth, cavities, scar tissue, or nerve issues. Given the fact that HPV positive patients tend to be younger and have high cure rates, they will live a long time with the side effects of their treatment. This is where our clinical trial comes in. Here at the Mayo Clinic, we are looking to combine the strengths of different treatment techniques to develop a therapeutic strategy that will hopefully minimize side effects while preserving the historically high rates of cure. This trial will be for patients with HPV-positive cancers of areas such as the tonsil and tongue who have disease that has not spread outside the throat or neck and who have never or almost never smoked. This trial will combine minimally, minimally invasive surgical techniques available here at Mayo Clinic with a less intense radiotherapy and chemotherapy course. For example, while the traditional treatment course after surgery is six weeks of daily radiation therapy and possibly high-dose chemotherapy, our clinical trial will treat patients with two weeks of low-dose chemotherapy and twice daily radiation. Since side effects after surgery are closely tied to radiation therapy and chemotherapy dose, we are hoping to dramatically decrease both short-term and long-term side effects by reducing the dose. This treatment course is also half as long as traditional treatment, thus giving patients less time in cancer treatment and more time to resume their lives. As with all clinical trials, the described treatment is investigational, which means it is being tested for efficacy. Only you can decide if this trial is right for you after careful discussion with a physician. For medical professionals, this trial is, a, is for patients with HPV-positive oral pharynx cancer who have less than a 10-pack year smoking history with only intermediate risk factors after surgery. If you would like more information on this clinical trial, you can visit our trial homepage at clinicaltrials.gov or you can call for an appointment at the Mayo Clinic at the numbers listed below. Thank you.